Kerala is so goddamn beautiful. That's a Dalmatian for sure. This guy is a mix. This guy is also a mix. They're definitely brothers. All three of them. Hello, boy. Yo. So we've come to this place called Vadavakode in Kerala. Just looking at a couple properties here my parents not me <laughs> i wouldn't be able to afford it this is the place so it's basically a community of villas and i think it's done by this developer called anugraha srishti and what makes this community living a little different is cuz all of the houses are built with these red bricks. I don't know the exact name of the brick, but this is what it looks like. You've got these plots of land with villas. And I asked them for the price of the land. So they said that it costs six lakhs per cent. So if you're getting a plot of 10 cents, then you're going to be paying 60 lakhs. And on top of that, obviously you are going to have to pay to build the villa. This is agricultural land, so you can't have a building on this land. You can buy the land and use it for agriculture, but you cannot build any property on it. Which is why this land is slightly cheaper, so it's 1 lakh per cent. So if you're getting 10 cents of this land, it would be 10 lakhs. Whereas behind me over here, this costs 6 lakhs per cent because it's not agricultural land and yeah this building is roughly occupying 10 cents it's quite expensive to say the least so that's 60 lakhs to own the land and then on top of that you're going to have to spend at least at least a crore to have the building made i mean the villa i'm probably <laughs> not your go-to real estate guy but <laughs> hope this helps if you're into real estate regardless it's goddamn Beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I was asking the folks here and they said that this rectangular block that you see that's about 10 cents. So on this block you would have to pay 10 lakhs. So you can buy it and then cultivate rice or whatever. Just a quick FYI, I'm not a real estate expert. Make sure you do your own research, 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 research before buying property. But Kerala is a very nice place. If you have the money, you should definitely look for some property here. If you want to live here for the long term, that is. So I've actually come here on my annual leave and you know I thought I'd spend some time with my grandparents and my native place, which is Kerala. If you haven't figured that out yet, <sighs> I at this point don't know what I'm saying. There's a swimming pool here. Free swimming pool. Away to the last individual swim for the greatest Olympian of all time. In lane four, he wasn't first out. Oh, there's three chickens here. One good looking chicken. Good. He is one good looking chicken.
think we have to go that way. The one thing that you need to be careful of when you look for a plot of land in Kerala is you should make sure that the place that you choose is not affected by rainfall because during monsoon it rains like crazy here and a lot of places get flooded because of that. So maybe just keep that in mind when you go house hunting. Basically, I ran out of charge on the GoPro. It's more agricultural land from Kerala for your eyes to feast on. I'm not sure what this crop is, but that's a cow. Ah! 